Brandt. Welcome back to Life 101. All the things you should have learned in school, but you just never, ever did. And today, we're going to be talking about the difference between excuses and legitimate reasons. And this is because somebody asked a question earlier. It made me think about this. I made a post the other day about stopping the excuses. Uh, you can find it down below. But like blame, excuses are... They're a defense mechanism that we have, and we do that because we, we're trying to avoid facing our problems. It is so easy for us. We push uh, the, our desires and our dreams and all the things we hope for aside when we have excuses. You know, we always say there's not enough time. Uh, I don't have the money to do that. I have a big family. I'm too busy. And on and on and on. And then we start to hide behind those excuses instead of taking the action that we need to move forward. Excuses are comforting because uh, they make us feel better when we're living in fear. They're safe. But excuses will also bring you back to exactly where you started. It's important to keep that in mind the next time an excuse floats into your mind. Are you truly where you want to be in life? Or are you falling back on fear and choosing to be comfortable instead of facing a challenge? And then someone asked the difference. What was the difference between an excuse and a valid reason? She said, depending on the situation and the perspective used, she was asking, one person may find it valid while another will find it an excuse. I have this all the time, this problem between my boyfriend and I. So my answer is, uh, it's a big one, you know? Because there is a huge difference between a, a reason and an excuse. According to the dictionary, there's absolutely no differentiation. And that's where the problem starts. Both reason and excuse are defined as an explanation put forward to defend or justify a fault or offense. The fact is, there's a huge difference between reason and excuse. Let me give you a perfect health-related example, all right? A reason for not going on a run is, I have a broken leg. An excuse would be, I don't have the time. It's sad, but it's so true. Far too many people have developed an unequaled gift for making excuses in every imaginable way possible. From finances to career, hobbies to relationships, and on and on and on. So in this quick video today, let me just bottom line it for you. Excuses are personality defects. They're the dirty ring around the collar of your performance, and they carry the distinct whiff of mediocrity. The tragedy of the average person is that they have become dependent on the deception, on the false belief, and unfortunately, ease of use associated with making excuses. I know of no enemy more insidious or vicious than excuse. It's an enemy that poses a clear and present danger to your future. Precisely because there's no textbook definition that presents a clear distinction between the two. We are left with one option. Examine the results. The difference between reasons and excuses, they lie in the results of each the actions that follow, the repercussions and consequences, as well as how an individual is affected by the events that cause each. It's what we do with each that determines the difference. If you are the excuse-making type, you have a strong tendency to view an excuse as the result of an uncontrollable event that you deem as an, an exoneration of your tasks, responsibilities, or plans. You see it as a legitimate justification for immunity of your sins, for revoking all that is expected of you. A reason, on the other hand, is a stimulus that causes something to change or happen, giving you cause to reroute your actions and manage to stay in control of the results you wanted without turning it into an excuse. Excuses and reasons on the surface share a very similar strand of DNA, but what you do with each is what differentiates them. Excuses are negative and irresponsible, 
while reasons are natural occurrences, and if acted upon, they lead to responsible, results-driven behavior. Here's a very good rule of thumb. Every reason must have a resulting action. Now that's a point worthy of repeating. Every reason must have a resulting action. The main function of a reason is not to justify, but to explain. Reason implies that fault is sincerely recognized and accepted, and that you take accountability for your actions. An excuse exists only to justify, to blame, or to defend a fault, with your intent is to absolve oneself from accountability. An excuse will never, ever be followed by positive, goal-directed, or solution-oriented behavior. Excuses bring productivity to a screeching halt. They waste time and they murder potential. They are tools of cowards and weaklings, weapons of destruction that undermine one's reputation, credibility, and future prospects. Do not associate with them, ever. One final thought, and maybe a little bit of a warning. You can have results or excuses, but you can't have both. I wanna thank you for joining me today. It has been my pleasure being on this journey with you. Uh, if you've not joined our Facebook group, you probably have because this is posted there, but you never know. It's a fantastic community of like-minded people. We are banded together, empowering ourselves, empowering each other, and in turn, empowering the world. It is a fantastic community. We'd love to have you. Come take a look. It's facebook.com slash groups slash students of self-empowerment. It's facebook.com slash groups slash students of self-empowerment. Also, don't forget, when you've got some free time, visit our website. It's fantastic. It's freelifetools.com. We have a vast array of life-changing items on that website, including a free resources section that is packed, loaded, and ready to go. Everything you need to start your transformation. And finally, if you're looking for a way to support us, you can do that by liking, commenting, subscribing to our YouTube channel, uh, liking and uh forwarding on our posts from our, our Facebook group. It's a fantastic way for all the algorithms to get moving and to get our message out to more and more people. So on YouTube, you'll find us at youtube.com slash Taylor Webb Television. 200 videos uploading almost each and every day. There's something for everyone. It's all positivity and it's all about changing your life for the better. So I wanna thank you for joining me today. I close all the shows the same way. It goes like this. Don't worry, <laughs> be happy and feel good. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.